You can't give up hope, Noah. Just because Dr. Oliver couldn't operate. It's not that he couldn't operate, Luke. It's that he didn't want to. Probably because you blackmailed him to come here in the first place. No. No, that's not it. Look. It's not over. It's far from it. Look, we just get out of here. Just, just go. Please, just, just leave. Oh, no. You have got to be kidding me. What's wrong? Bad weather in Dallas. Nothing commercial is flying in. Oh, good. That means you've got to stay here. I don't think so. What will it take to get you to stick around and finish what you started? My God, you're relentless. I just want what's best for Noah. You mean the best that money can buy. And you say that that's you. It is, but I'm not for sale. Look, Dr. Oliver, all I'm asking is that you go back in there and explain to us what we can do to get Noah better. We can figure it out from there. We can go down to Dallas if that makes it easier. We can get a place down there. Look, I don't know how to make this clear to you. I'm not taking your boyfriend's case. I'm done. So quit ordering me around like I'm one of your servants. I don't need your money. It doesn't impress me. Well, then what will? Your car. What? You're driving me to the airport. Come on. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but I think I should take a rain check for lunch. Ah, uh, let me think. Luke and Noah. Well, Oliver didn't give them much of an explanation about why he canceled the surgery. And you want to make sure they understand. I'm a mind reader. <laughs> After all these years, I finally figured it out. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. It's just that, you know, I just wish you didn't have to work so hard. Well, Noah is Oliver's patient, but I am chief of staff, and well, they're all under my care one way or another. I'll see you at home. <laughs> if you're lucky. Well. <laughs> Where's your car? Over there. Now what? Uh, I'm not driving you anywhere. You can't walk out on Noah. He needs you. I'm getting sick and tired of this little command performance of yours. I don't care how rich and accustomed you are to getting your way, Mr. Snyder. I don't want to be here. I have people waiting for me back in Dallas. People that I actually want to help. So if you're not going to drive me, I'm going to drive myself. You can pick up your car at the airport. Don't forget to tip the valet.